Assalamualaikum and good morning. Okay, today we are going to learn on chapter 5, problem solving using control structure where we use the pseudo code and flowchart in uh, to perform our programming uh, method. Okay, what is programming? Programming actually is a problem solving activity and you know that when you write a program you are actually writing an instruction for the computer to solve a problem for you okay basically problem solving is the process of transform the description of problem into a solution by using our own knowledge of the problem domain by relying in on our ability to select and use appropriate problem solving strategy technique and tools Okay, let me see. What is example of problem? Okay, you said that you are required to calculate the amount to be paid by a customer where they want to buy a cupcake. Okay, so how to solve this kind of problem? Okay, so the problem is yummy cupcake. Okay, first of all, all the programmer will analyze their problem. Okay, what do they meet here? Okay, they will analyze what is the input. Okay, the input here, of course, you need to know. Okay, what is the amount of the cupcake? Okay, and then maybe you will know um, how about to uh, uh, choose the flavor of the cupcake. And maybe the input here, okay, you can uh, input the data of the cupcake amount per piece. Okay, after we get the input, then we will derive an output. The output here may be the total price of the cupcake, okay, and then the total that the customer need to be paid. And after that, we will analyze on the constraint or condition. Okay, here we will uh, try to go to chapter 4 to connect with either there is an if else statement switch condition or any do one loop there and then the last analysis here we will try to check either the formula or equation involved in our problem analysis after done with the problem analysis the programmer will go to algorithm what is algorithm? It is list of steps arranged in a specific order, which will then, which when execute, produce the solution for a problem. Okay, the two types of algorithm here is a pseudo code, huge pseudo code, and the uh, second one is a flowchart. Next, we go to pseudo code. What is pseudo code? Pseudo code is a semi English formal language with a limited vocab that can be used to design and describe an algorithm okay basically there are three types of good pseudocode criteria first it must be easy to understand precise and clear another one give the correct solution in all cases and it eventually end okay what is the main purpose of the pseudocode Okay. to define the procedural logic of algorithm in a simple and easy way to understand okay now we have to know that in a way first to write the pseudocode we must type the keyword for the begin and end of the statement so another thing that there are the some keyword that we need to use to make sure that it aligns with the pseudo code that we use An example of the keyword is read compute and print another example another example that we can use is like um papar In all that okay next we go to sequence control structure how we want to write a pseudo code for the sequence control structure this is the programming that we have learned before okay this is the way on how we write down a program code okay to guide the, the user to get the monthly salary for the customer okay to be here to make the pseudo code first of all we need to know the integer main here 
Okay, has the of the function is start the pseudo code that we use is begin, and then here the declaration function the pseudo code here we use read read integer salary equal to two thousand and five hundred. You have to state the amount here because to make sure that your pseudo code is complete and in order. Another one, this is a calculation that involves where the monthly salary equal to a salary plus allowance minus by EPF. In pseudo code, the calculation we use words compute monthly salary equal to salary plus allowance minus EPF. The last one we will derive and output we use the code C out and on the pseudo code statement here we use words print. After that the return zero tell you that you are on at the end of the statement and then it will derive by the words end. Okay, then we go to exercise number one. I hope that you can make this exercise and submit to me. Okay, what is the pseudo code involved in this exercise? Next, we go to selection control structure. Okay, in this selection control structure is defined two options where user have to express either they want to select the condition true or false. Okay, in this selection control structure, there are two kind of uh, condition where they have to use either if else statement or switch statement. Example here, the words that we use for pseudo code is if, else, and, and if. Example, if we didn't buy Israel product, then, the words then is here, Palestine will be free, else more Palestine will be killed. Okay, let's take a look of this example. This is example that we have done in our lecture before. Okay, on how we write a password. We, and then the user will key in their password. And then if the password not match with the password that given, the compiler will give the answer. Okay, so the pseudo code here for the integer main here. Okay, we know that we start with the begin words and then the declaration of the words here start with the pseudo code read and then the input c in password here we will write pseudo code as input password okay this is the condition that involves if password equal to me met one two three and then you will print the output correct password okay while well, you write the pseudo code you have to write if password equal to me met one two three then print correct password else you will print sorry wrong password after the end of the statement you will have to write words and if and then you will end it, your program with an code Okay, this is exercise number two. Hope that you guys can submit the exercise during the class. The next one is repetition control structure. Okay, it was specifies block of one or more statement with repeated, executed, or looping until it fulfills the condition. The format here you will use while condition and then loop the body, and after that we will end with and while. Otherwise, you also can use the for statement. Example here, when student gets C minus in mathematics, then you will loop the student, will repeat the project subject until the end while statement. Okay, example here, we have done in class before where we want to loop oh, numbers. We start with x equal to 50 and as long as numbers is um, less or equal to 200 the numbers or the x will loop until it meets 200 looping structure okay first we begin with uh, words and then we will uh, declare 
integer x to 50 here we write read x equal to 50 and then we will try to loop the while x equal to 50 and then loop x 50 plus 50 and then we try to loop back 100 plus 50 and keep the loop until the x stop at 200 after that we print the x and we stop the program with n wall this is the example that we have gave to you i hope that you guys can complete and then submit to me during the class session i think that's all from now uh, our session we will continue back on the flowchart on the next week um, class thanks a lot have a nice day.